Hey Virgo, so happy summertime. It's your season, all right? Um, that solar return is coming up. So yes, the energy when I was sitting with your energy, what I was getting, wait one second. Okay, so it feels like you're having a lot of blessings coming in for you this summer, that things are gonna be very, um, you know, uh, feeling like you, that you live in the life that you want to live, you know, um, that you have invested a lot of energy into it and it's paying off. So when I was about to sit down and do your reading, it, the sun just completely disappeared, okay, and it started raining. So I was like, oh, okay. So what it seems like in order for you to be able to cultivate this fully, it's a need to go within, it's a need to reflect. Virgo, you are the hermit, all right? You are the hermit card energy, right? So it's just about finding source, light from within. This is not something that you're going to be able to be taught in a sense. This is gonna be cultivating wisdom from within yourself. It is that you already have, that you already hold, that is going to be your guiding light, all right? So definitely, See what that's what what what's that like for you? Okay, that's so all. We're gonna go ahead and get this reading going. I am rolling these dice. I'm gonna pull cards for the dice. Here, what would you like, Virgo? You know, for this summer, hold this energy, Virgo. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. All right. So you have Neptune and Capricorn in the first house. So Neptune and Capricorn, first of all, is kind of like, there's this app I had. They call that that particular uh, transit supernatural wisdom, Su you know, yeah, supernatural wisdom, like having this supernatural knowing. And it being in the first house, this is something for you to embody. This is something for you to instill within who it is that you are, right? But it's going to take for you to do some reflection. Mm -hmm. Neptune is that subconscious energy, right? And Capricorn is the structure. So what has been the structure? What has been the foundation of your subconscious energy up until this point? Are you willing to take the plunge? Okay, and, and move through this. Perhaps you are just simply exuding this energy, being very grounded in that. Or you may have a, some of you guys may be having a difficult time getting a grasp on um, the stability it is that you were desiring, but these, what's coming up for you are offering you the lessons it is that you're gonna be needing in order to really be able to tap into that. It is pouring down. All right, so... Neptune is water energy. You really got to go there. You really got to recognize what it is. Um, these emotions, what, what is flooding your subconscious energy that needs to be drained, right? What, what can you allow this to uh, nourish the soil versus uh, flood it out in a way that there is no growth, that it does work or that it, it, um, it clouds or submerges who it is that you truly are, who it is that you, who you show up as. Can you stop letting people project onto you? And can you stop projecting onto other people, right? Because that is Capricorn, similar to Virgo, is, is very critical in its nature, right? Because it needs the details to be right. It needs everything to be worked out, everything oh, to be... Did. Okay, so my son, he just came out here. He was like, oh, mommy, rain. Like, oh, my goodness. Okay, he was like, well, where's the sun? I'm so sad, right? So this is letting those emotions really overthrow the, the recognizing of the blessing that the rain is offering, that, that the emotional um, turbulence, that the emotional gro growth that has been... Uh, built upon all that has been gone through, all that has been um, placed into your subconscious mind as a belief that a thing is true, especially about yourself, right? Be in that, in that, that innocent nature, right? Be excited, be curious, 
right, as to what it is that is here. What, why is this? What is this? You know, what is this bringing for me? You know, what does this have to offer me and give to me, spirit? What guidance, what insight, what clarity would you like to offer for Virgo on this summer and summer solstice energy? Missy Elliott just came up in my head. I can't stand alone. alone. <laughs> um, yeah, stay in the rain. Missy, that's funny, she had cancer. So that she she that is a perfect example of a need to grow up because cancer is all about emotional maturity you know it's all about um being in that space of compassion and not letting you know cancers are represented by the crab okay so they don't necessarily live in the ocean they are they live in the ocean wow okay that's too many cards but i'll keep that in mind um they are they do reside in the ocean but they come on on land to birth they don't birth they they are hatched in eggs right so there is an incubation phase what is this it's a initiation it's a rite of passage are you willing to um take the steps right and, and learn what it is that is meant for you to learn as you go through these rites that are, are propelling you into a higher octave of your personal expression for you to heighten your I am, who you are, all right? Can you be supernatural? Because you already are, can you just accept that? Wow, okay. And so with the first card that we have here uh, coming out under the first house is the eight of nines. So there's a lot of healing taking place, a lot of releasing um where it is that you were feeling powerless right and all these preconceived ideas uh that are not the case right he's surrounded by these knives he's at this crossroads got a direction to go but feel like he can't walk through any way because these these knives here but in reality all of the knives have an empty space for him to be able to walk through this light okay Right, so don't get blinded by the light. Okay. This this whole scenario that's going on here. All right, Virgo. Let's see what else is here for Virgo spirit. You know, really take the time to recognize where you are feeling, where you are allowing yourself to be a victim. We are not victims. All right, we are not. We take. We it's important that we learn to take responsibility, accountability for who we are, where we are, and why we are here, how we got us here, right? And really embrace um, the lessons that we have learned. What knowing has this provided for you, right? Because whatever it is that you thought you knew, that didn't work. It kept you in a cage, in a box, with the gate open, with the key in your pocket, all right? And you complaining about you can't change it. When you can, you got, you can, all right? What is this? Right, so under the Neptune, you have Big Mama. So this is the sun energy. The sun, you the, you allow, the sun comes out when you go within. That's it, right? You, you find that happiness, that joy, that fulfillment, tapping into that creative nature, tapping into being seen, the confidence it is that is needed for you to do that, right? And the connection, the romances, the relationships, Right, that feeling of home within yourself. Maybe some of you um, have been thinking about having children, but have not been um, able to really see how it is that that is going to be a reality or a possibility for you. Know that this has to do with something that you, that that is within you. The answer is within to that. Right, you may be having very loving relationships as well coming through people who support you on a very spiritual level. Um, you may be having like a, a spiritual guide with you, excuse me, walking with you. This may even be your grandmother uh, here. She may be coming to you in your dreams and, and offering you something very nourishing, you know, offering you keys that is going to support you to be able to really 
walk through that door, walk through that gate, right? Showing you that you always had the key. The key has always been within you, right? Because our ancestors, they are just us, all right? They are just us. What else is here, spirit? What else is here? All right, and we have Ace of Baskets. So doing the work, right? And, and seeing this through an optimistic lens, not, not taking, um, not trying to take the easy route, not trying to skip steps, not trying to avoid what it is that is necessary in order to be done, right? That is what's going to allow align you to this new emotional space of being it is that you want and really bringing in your desires, really connecting you with those relationships that are stable and long lasting and really committed, right? Capricorn is committed. Once they in it, it's to win it. That's it, okay? So, um definitely recognize where it is that the work is needing to be done. What is the invitation? Listen to your intuition and follow that guidance, follow that inner light. Okay. Take time to, hmm. Wow. Okay. So, um, maybe going talk to someone about this will serve you, but, um, hypnotherapy may be good for you as well to help you move beyond any subconscious uh, stagnation it is uh, that is keeping you feeling bleak that is making you feel like you need to dump dim and dim down that big mama energy that sun energy okay because um let's see what is this Ten. I'm saying it's not 21. Oh, it's 19. Tripping. Okay, so that is so that you can be able to start a new cycle, turn the wheel over into your favor, you know, right? Because you have the nine of baskets here. So this is wish fulfillment, right? Your wishes are coming to light, coming into um, reality, into the fruition of what it is that you desire within your world. All right, it's just a matter of you really taking the time to do what it is that needs to be done. The blessings are here, right? But they're not just gonna come. That's the only thing, you know, they're not just gonna come. You're gonna have to do the work. You're gonna have to learn to listen to yourself and act on it. It's, it's, it's one thing to get, get in, inspired and creative ideas, but if you're not listening to it, then it's no good. It's no good. Okay. What is this? Wow. Okay. So at the bottom here, you got the <clears throat> summer dragon. So things are really happening here. And then we have with the fairy, you have trillium. And she's a number nine. Okay. And this is again about that inner light. She speaks about self love. Can you tap into that? Can you um, love yourself enough to be gentle with yourself, to forgive yourself, to uh, offer yourself that unconditional love it is that is needing uh, for you to blossom, for you to reconnect with your inner child? Okay, um, don't 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 waste time not seeing the fullness, the greatness, the the. the the beauty of who it is that you are. Look at, look at how beautiful this card is. Do you see that? Yeah. All right. So see this in you. God sees this in you. See the God in you. Tap into that God energy in you. See who it is that you are. Nine, this is Virgo energy. That is, um, the hermit card, right? So definitely tap into, Okay, so don't let the outside noise distract you from being able to see what it is that you really need to see. Whatever it is that you're choosing to do for yourself, do that. It's out of love for yourself. Know that, embrace that, really tap into that. Um, it, you just don't realize, sometimes we don't realize how much our lives can change when we really truly show up and, and see ourselves through the eyes of love, see ourselves through the eyes of God, right? Seeing that God essence, see yourself as your grandmother sees you, all right? It's no wrong that you can do uh, in her eyes. See yourself as your mother sees you. And if you don't have a good relationship, relationship with your mother, 
and you don't feel like that she sees you like that, how, what kind of mother would you be? See your eyes through that. Okay. Let that really, let that love pour into you. Let it, it full, fill you up, right? Because you deserve the blessings, the wishes it is that are coming here for you. What is this? Yeah. So this is all about your, your personal authority you have here. You can see that King Poseidon, he's a number one. Okay. So that that's Aries energy. That is also the magician energy. So if it says expecting the best of yourself brings out great things in you. So Virgo it's really important that this summer, you really see that yourself in the highest light that you, there is no room for doubt. There is no space for doubt. There is no space for criticism. All right. There is no space for outside opinions. Whatever anybody has to say, it's unwarranted. Let them be that. Be the sunny, vibrant person that it is that you are. You got the summer dragon here at the bottom. Okay. So ride your dragon. Right. And that basically means allowing your ego to serve you and for it to not um, overthrow you. Right. Because sometimes the ego ego shows up as pride. Right. In the sense of, OK, all these people have said this thing to me. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and, and do this or, or having something to prove. And you don't have nothing to prove. Nothing at all, you know, because you deserve to really tap in. You have universal power here with you really supporting you is really helping you move through um, all of these energies. It's a good card for you. It predicts that you will attain success by your positive energy, creativity, intellect, and willpower, all the forces that he represents. The raging storms of Poseidon warns against losing touch and getting restlessly carried away on a current by someone or something or delusion. Okay, your proving luck increases your finances. King Poseidon creates tranquility at his best in fearing that both you and the situation are calm. When you have restored your energies, hopes may well come true for you. Fun ahead will be will bring a little adventure that will have a far-reaching and beneficial effect. You can expect a wonderful time. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because the moon is in Aries today, but... Virgo, I feel like I'm very spicy with y'all today, and I, I wasn't trying to be, I wasn't trying to be, because the messages I was getting, it was real, like, <laughs> um, what song was it that came up, Blessings, by Drake and um, Big Sean, I live the life I deserve, bless, you know, and then I'm sitting here, and more just keeps coming up, and it's just like, Okay, these blessings are here, but it's going to take, you got to work through some things first. All right, like, let's see what crystal is supporting Virgo for this summertime. What energy, what crystal consciousness would support Virgo in working with the summer? Okay. Can you see this? Okay, so this is meteorite, and it says to connect with your star stuff. Use it when you're looking to conduct more spiritual energy. Try nickel, nickel iron meteor, meteorite. When you're looking to chat with a friend in another galaxy, go with chondrite meteorite. When you want to feel aligned to that universal energy that pulsates through everything, try palestite meteorite. Uh, children of the stars need it. Right. So that's very much with this Neptune and Capricorn um, being very grounded in your supernatural energy. Right. But you first have to recognize where it is that you need to connect more to your soul. Where do you need to connect more to your spirit? OK. Do you have a spiritual team? Your, your, if it's not your grandmother, there is some woman, there is a woman ancestor here that is wanting to connect with you. You need to connect with her because she's going to help you clear through this fogginess and confusion and not seeing yourself clearly, right? Yeah. And at the bottom, you got the honey calcite, which speaks about breaking through your limits. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. What else is here for Virgo spirit? What else would you like Virgo to know for this summertime energy? 
on the tongue for Virgo. Okay. Okay. Things are changing. Things are definitely changing. The load is lightening, um, especially surrounding the way that you communicate, whether that is emotionally, um, talkatively, like, uh, or mentally. How, whatever form of communication is going on that has not been working for you, that is shifting. What else here? Gentleness. Again, you got this gentleness energy again coming out under the car that that fairy that speaks about being gentle with yourself. Okay, can't really see that because that light behind me. I mean, in front of me, but it says I speak with gentleness and I listen with gentleness. I align with the gentlest part of myself and I take joy in being receptive, open and unafraid. I'm like a baby deer who's best friends with the elephant. The baby elephant wraps his little trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass. Daydreaming and talking about what sort of human clouds look like. So let's see if I. There you go. You can see that a little bit better. Okay. And at the bottom, we have strength. So it definitely, which is what the Sun card, uh, this Big Mama card speaks about. Um, and connecting with this ancestor is definitely going to help support you with that. going to help uh, support you in connecting with that soul self within you. It's going to also help facilitate a lot of abundance in your life as well. Anybody who is trying to talk you out of what it is that you choose to do after you've done it, how about this? Stop sharing what it is that you choose to do with people before you do it. Simple. Sometimes that can be hard when we want to include the people we love in what it is that we're doing, but Mm -mm. not all the time we cannot do that okay yes yeah, so in your relationships be curious tap into that space of curiosity it says meeting new people i remember what a treasure trove of opinions interests and stories they are but these treasures will only be unlocked if i break embrace my curiosity so i'll be curious and you'll be interested in deal so this is also because you have new relationships coming in here as well so and it feels like those are the relationships that you're going to be needing to support you um, moving forward. But you first have to be willing and open to get to know these people. You have to really learn how to communicate with others in a way that is effective, right? That doesn't carry baggage from the past where you're projecting, right, onto them what it is that you think <laughs> they're going to say, do, or what it is you think they think about you because they don't, right? Okay, so... You got Capricorn. So you got Capricorn here twice, and this is coming out under um, the first house. So you definitely, you are, are laying new structures. It's also, okay, so if you have been feeling like a victim in anything, it's because you're not being real. You wearing a mask in, in, in a sense of trying to prove that you are something, that you already are, that you don't have to wear a mask for, that you just need to show up as, okay? Um, but definitely just tap, also tap into the optimism it is that is needed for you to uh, move through the energy of seeing yourself as this, as you being in this victim state of feeling like outside forces are oppressing you. Um, and if outside forces are really oppressing you, then do you some conjure, all right? Do you some root work to get up out that situation because there are ways to get, come out of the hand of, of anyone. Right. But most of the time, our oppression is coming from how it is that we are seeing the thing and thinking about the thing, um, which is a lot of what Capricorn is. Capricorn is logic, although it is um, an earth sign and it is a feminine sign. It's more of a, a young expression of feminine energy. Right. So let's see. Let's see. What else is here? Spirit for Virgo. For Virgo, what else is here? Okay, so we have the Ten of Lotuses here, and this is Ast, the, the guy, the Egyptian goddess Ast. So let's see. 
So this is about Neferatum. Neferatum is, is like a, let me see something. Neferatum is the mother. She's also, is, is that the initiation? I'm sorry. No, she's the mother. She's the mother of Haru, right? So, and this is Libra energy. This is about union, relationships. So if you can't see this, I'm just talk about it. But um, so she represents the, the emperor's car, but also in connection with others, unions that you build with others, right? So you were having a lot of this coming up. These are gonna be long lasting and solid. They're gonna bring a lot of abundance into your world, into your life. They're gonna be very nurturing and motherly for you and to you. Okay, so this is, Ost is, she is the culture bringer. She's the healer, the mother, right? She is also speaks about magical process, source of divine intervention. So this, all these, energies, these divine interventions, that is what conjure is what root work is, is, is divine intervention. Your your petitioning spirits come and bring forth change that wouldn't necessarily be the case without the help of, right? Um, to facilitate change that uh, you may not be able to see how to get there kind of energy, right? So um, this is also bringing you material abundance, fertility, which we can see as creativity and the responsibility of of nature right so with this coming out of the capricorn out under capricorn on top of the ace of baskets if this is not you you're definitely connecting i feel like this is somebody can it seems like this summer we are all from just the other readings i've done we're all connecting with people or institutions or however um that are helping support us that are really nurturing where it is that we're going for the long term our goals our lifelong ambitions right so in, in bringing helping facilitate us in bringing success within our world right with this is with this being libra energy this is also people who are very fair very just as well, but you also tapping into the just is that it is that you deserve that you have kind of been moving toward in your life from for this time. Okay, so let's see what else is here. Because the cycle is changing, you are coming out of the mud. You're coming out of the mud and and, and growing into something very beautiful, right? And you you're going to receive these blessings, right? But you have to be willing to be responsible for what it is that is yours to do for what it is that you are doing, right? And, and really take care of the thing. Don't don't hesitate. You have to go forward in, in, in confidence. Be sure, right? Because you're, you're learning something, all right? Because we have the book here. Ah, this light. Let me see something. Okay. Should have did this before. So here we go. We have the book here. And this is the page of um page of cups. So you're gonna be having some messages coming through. You're gonna really be learning a lot of different things that are gonna help that is gonna help you um see why it is that things have been the way in which they have been, right? And be able to come on the other side of that, right? It's gonna really help you be able to tap into that intuition and, and heighten your psychic awareness. But it's also gonna support you in, in tapping into that self-awareness, not be so careless, not always be in a space of feeling like you need to escape from reality in order to be able to deal with the thing. But because when you are escaping, you're not dealing, you're not doing anything, you're not even being. All right, because you, I mean, you being something, but not what it is that you want to be if, if in regard to whatever reason it is that you are um, feeling the need to escape, but this is going to bring stability for you. It's going to bring a found, cultivate a really strong foundation for you, right? Because at the bottom here, you have the ship. So this is, this is wealth and money coming in. All right. When this car comes up, money comes with it. All right. I know this for a fact. All right. So um, when you move through these energies that has that have been destabilizing you, you are going to unlock the door to the riches it is that belong to you that have always been there waiting for you. OK, so 
let's see what we have here for Virgo spirit. What is here for Virgo? Yeah, and with this big mama card coming out, that's Leo energy. So that's that's your 12th house. Leo is your 12th house. And that's coming out under Neptune, which it rules the 12th house, okay? So this is a lot about your subconscious mind, all right? This is about karma as well. It may be something past life. It may not even be this lifetime kind of thing, but sometimes we come here and we live, relive these things out, right? And it just needing to be in a space of being willing to um, embrace and, and recognize what it is that we are continuing to operate in um, that, that's not working. These people out here blowing, what it's pouring down, these people out here uh, mowing this grass, blowing with a leaf blower. So despite what the weather is, you're going you gonna to push through this. All right, that, that's what I know. If it's the thing that Virgo is going to do is succeed. So you have Sisterhood of the Rose here. So definitely be devoted, all right? Tap into beauty of, of the situation of life. Priestess, mystic teacher, you are connecting with someone who's going to be teaching you these things if this is not you, right? Sharing this kind of information with people. Okay, but it feels more of someone coming through and supporting you and um, going to help you align to the devotion it is that is necessary for you to tap into your own inner mystic, your own inner teacher, right? your own inner priest, priestess energy. Um, you may be connecting with a group of people who are supporting you uh, in this, but definitely... Um, you're going to have the support it is that you need, right? Because at the bottom here, you got the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes, all right? So this is some past life stuff. <laughs> this is past life energy, all right? And it is definitely, if you take the time to um, go within and, and, and move through it, see the light within you, you're going to be just fine. And don't be afraid to ask for help, please. Like, please. We cannot be so prideful. That's ego. Not want to ask for help. You can't be embarrassed. Embarrassment is ego. Most of the time, things that become wounds, they turn into egoic expressions of ourselves. I was trying to prove that that's not, that, that we're not there, that that's not what that means. That's not what that is. Nope, that's ego and you need to break out of it, right? Let that ego support you in a different way. Stop letting your dragon consume you and ride it, All right? Transformation, have transformation here. Okay, and I believe this is, it looks like a carnation. And you have life force at the bottom. So Carnation says your life becomes more and more of an adventure. So things are definitely changing. And you know, you are coming into a space of having a good time with life and really um, connecting with that. So this is a Labradite. Uh, that is a lot about that inner work, <laughs> you know, and really tapping into that throat chakra, whatever it is that needs to be said. Um, you know, it's very iridescent in nature. So this is also really tapping into that spiritual nature, that third eye energy as well, so that you can see the truth of the matter too, you know, and being very, again, kind and gentle. Carnations are of gentleness, right? So definitely it, it's going to take that for you to really come out on the other side of you being able to um, transform your world into the blessings it is that you desire You because you're building your life force. It says meeting adversity well is the source of your strength. So know that everything it is that you're experiencing, it is happening for you, not to you. It is supporting you and getting forward on the other side. Also helping you come in and tap into a really uh, a strong space of humility, right? Being humble within yourself because these things that you're experiencing are going to humble you. What you're learning about yourself is going to humble you. It's going to make you stronger, okay? It, you are, are, are about to get rid of old perceptions. It is that you have been seeing your eye, seeing eyes through through all this time. 
that are just not not going to serve you that not have not been serving you and you're about to change that perspective virgo okay so my lovely virgos my astute and precise and to the point virgos i hope that this is helpful for you i hope that this blesses you okay i hope that this um supports you throughout the summertime and Yes, let me know how this is showing up for you, or maybe you'll watch this later again, all right, and you'll be seeing these blessings coming up in your life. I would love to hear them, but hear about them. I want to celebrate with you, all right, so yes, y'all have a beautiful summer, and I'll see y'all in the fall. Bye. Mm -hmm.